Okay, Kia ora, good morning. It's the AM show on Toru Magic Talk and, of course, online. We are coming up eight minutes away from eight o'clock. Lovely to have you along this morning. He's most recognised for his sci-fi, fantasy, comic book, movie resume. Now our very own Carl Urban is back in season two of The Boys, which is available weekly on Amazon Prime Video. But, of course, during the COVID-19 pandemic, he's also uh, been in New Zealand, away from the major international filming industries and sets and things, although he, he's a New Zealander who lives in New Zealand. Actor Carl Urban joins us now to tell us how everything's been going during probably what is a really testing time for the industry. G'day mate, nice to see you. Kia ora, how are you? Good, I was going to say welcome home because we often say that to actors because yeah, they've been overseas right. living the fancy life but that's not that's not you. No, that's not me. I, I, I live here and have my entire career. Based, based here. Yeah. How's it been for the industry because it must, it must have slowed down and it must be harder to film big stuff on big sets and be socially distanced and all those sorts of things. Yeah, it's tough. It's definitely, you know, when you have, you know, 150 people working in close proximity uh, to each other, uh, they're going to get affected by something like this. So there's a few productions that have just sort of ramped up recently and and so they're really going to be the first uh, uh, case scenario as to the new sort of protocols that have to be in place for us to safely and effectively be able to shoot. How strict is it? I mean, can you shoot? Well, they are at the moment, yeah, so we'll, we'll soon find out. <laughs> and the other thing, it's a big thing to leave the country to go to go to a set and to film because, yeah. well, it's another two weeks in quarantine here, two weeks That's over it. there. and Yeah. Yeah, we, we're scheduled to start shooting season three of The Boys uh, January, February next year, and, and for me that means I'll have to go over there, spend two weeks in quarantine, and then, you know, start the shoot, and then obviously if someone comes down with COVID while we're shooting, then, you know, the whole production gets shut down for a couple of weeks uh, so, <laughs> you know, potentially <laughs> the shoot will be the never, never ending shoot. So, yeah. So, be... tell us about this character of Billy Butcher because you seem to love and thrive on this character. You know, what is it about him that appeals so much? And is there a little bit of him that you take home with you? That's a great question. Uh, firstly, yes, there is. There's actually a lot of Billy that I that I take home with me. I find my inner voice uh, is Billy Butcher, and it's uh, it's, it's most disconcerting. Um, <laughs> he's just a very he's a fun character to play. He's a, a character that is the sort of leader of this vigilante group that are trying to bring down these morally corrupt uh, superheroes. And um, he's a sort of a scoundrel, a rogue. Uh, he also is, is um, has a sort of bit of an inner demon within him. He is ultra-violent, um, uh, but it ultimately does have a heart. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a fun character to play. Now, that first season was renowned for its sort of big and bloodied and brutal scenes. How much fun was doing that, and how did you have to up the ante for the second season? Yeah, the first season was a lot of fun, and, um, you know, we're blessed by the fact that Eric Kripke, our showrunner, has put together a really fantastic cast. We all get along really well. Um, he got, got us together at the beginning of the second season and says, listen, we're not going to try and go bigger this year. We're going to go and try and go deeper. And, you know, we're going to sort of really, you know, mine the depths of these characters. Well, he actually did both because it's like everything was bigger in, in season two. It's like the special effects were bigger and, uh, you know, the uh, just the scope and scale of everything was, uh, was, was on steroids. So it was a lot of fun. Do series of this nature that have lots of twists and turns and you yeah. have lots of, oh, didn't see that coming moments. How much is that actually preordained? The series is, is thought out, it's planned, and then you, you go and shoot it. Or how much actually develops as you go through? Well, I think that, uh, you know, when they initially pitched the series uh, to Amazon, then they have a pretty clear idea of at least the first season of what they're trying to achieve. And then from there, they put it together, they see what works. And then based upon that, and based upon also what's happening with uh, current events, uh, they then sort of formulate a second season. Now, you know, our show is set in a world where it imagines that, that superheroes exist, and they've imbued these superheroes with qualities that are, um, are present and a lot of, you know, uh, celebrities and, and politicians and, you know, they're morally, you know, corrupt and they only really care about uh, the, their popularity um, more so than actually saving lives. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Well, if you, if you could have one in real life superpower, mm -hmm. what, would you, what would you take? What would you have? 
you know what? Uh, it would probably be the ability to instantly transport myself somewhere. Like, so yeah, yeah, for yeah, a teleportation right, yeah. of yeah. cut out the 20 hour flight, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, and just be there. It's the COVID response. Yeah. It's the COVID response. That would be ideal. You don't live on the North Shore by any chance, do you? Uh, <laughs> no, thankfully, no, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you... But you've got the boys, this stuff. Nothing Street. against, sorry, nothing no. against the North Shore, oh, by no. the way. Harbour Bridge. Yes. With oh, the right. Harbour Bridge, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Love the North Shore. <laughs> Love everyone. Don't send emails now. <laughs> but you've got the boys, Star Trek, Thor, Dread, Lord of the Rings. You are a comic con legend. What is the uh, the appeal of these roles, and why do you think these shows are so ridiculously popular? Well, you know what? I've never really planned my career to any great degree. Um, <laughs> it, it's just sort of really been a lot of sort of dumb luck. Uh, and, um, you know, for me, it's about the writing. And what I recognised in the boys was just great writing. And uh, and and so you go, you go where the writing is. And uh, on this show, you know, I'm very blessed to also have another Kiwi... Uh, uh, and the co-lead of this, uh, which is was Ant Star from Outrageous Fortune, and he does a phenomenal job playing Homelander, who's kind of our uh, Superman-esque kind of. Uh, I rate him. He's a great villain. guy. Yeah. Great guy. Yeah, very good actor. You, when does Hollywood get back to normal? Do you think? And is there such a thing that we can even see it back to normal in a year's time? Or well, you think it's going to be around for a while, don't you? Yeah, I do. I mean, the, you know, the sort of if, if, you, if you sort of uh, have a look at what sort of the news reports that are coming out, it's looking like 2022 potentially before things are going to be anywhere near back to. A semblance of normality so I think it's just about trying everybody trying to do our best to um, look after each other and that's something that the Kiwis have proven they can do really really well mm. um, and um, you know we just we just have to you know get together and, and, and suck it up and you know do what previous generations have proven that can be done have patience as well have patience wear a mask and and think about the safety of others it's that simple yeah with your lockdown how did you keep yourself busy what did you do you know what, I, it's probably not a, a, a popular thing to say, but I actually really enjoyed lockdown. It was just a unique time to spend one-on-one -on -one time with my kids. Um, and, you know, and, and so, we, you know, we, we just hung together and, and would do things like play board games and, yeah. and just connect in a way that I think modern families you don't necessarily do anymore. Yeah. We slowed down, we got to know each other again. Yeah, it was fantastic, you know. Not a bad so, thing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, good to see you. All the very best. Yeah, nice thank you very much. You. All the very best. Yeah. Actor Carl uh, Urban. It is two minutes away from 8 o'clock.